All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rachaha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return and double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai this is the brother Yashamai coming back at you with another walk and talk through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai this walk and talk is going to be about uh, how these deportations could actually be a smoke screen for throwing us Israelites in concentration camps. Now, I spoke about this before, and I'm going to keep saying it, you know. Because one must must ask, you know, why is Donald Trump so hell bent on deportations, you know? And my answer is, I believe that the reason why these Edomites are, you know, hell bent on deportations, it's because, you know, Deportations could actually be a smokescreen or a guise for really throwing the Israelites, which would be the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians into concentration camps. You know, now they're saying deportations but there used to be a saying amongst the so-called North American Indians, you know, and that saying amongst the uh, so-called North American Indians is that the so-called white man speaks with a forked tongue because he'll say one thing, but then he'll turn around and do something else. You know, so what does it mean to speak with a forked tongue? Well, I'll give you an example. You know, hey there, buddy. How about I go to the ice cream shop and buy you a bowl of cookies and cream ice cream? You might be like, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you go ahead and do that. So, you know, this devil, this uh, Edomite, which the Edomites would be the self-proclaimed white people. Okay, they, you know, this Edomite instead of going to the ice cream shop to actually buy you, you know, instead of going to the ice cream shop, instead of going to the ice cream shop to, to buy you a bowl of cookies and cream ice cream, as, as he told you, right? He comes back with a group of men and they're all armed with shotguns and AKs and hunting rifles and sniper rifles, you know? And when he knocks on when he knocks on your door, right, you open the door because you trust that he is your friend. But then when you look outside, you see a group of Edomites, you know, with desert eagles in their hands, nine millimeters, you know, you know, shotguns, hunting rifles, you name it, because these Edomites. You know, they like to lie and to deceive people. So, you know, Donald Trump is talking about deportations, but deportations could actually be 
a smoke screen, okay? It could deportations could be a smoke screen or a guise for really putting you, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians in the concentration camps. So while the world is believing through TV or through the mass media that, you know, these so-called illegal immigrants are being deported out of the country, they could actually be being sent to concentration camps. You know, which will also be the fulfillment of Revelation, the second chapter, because while you tribes are in concentration camps, they could be um, presenting you with the chip, which is going to be what? The hour of temptation, because the hour of temptation, of course, according to Revelation, the third chapter is going to come upon all the world to try them in which when you look up that word try, it goes into pierce, okay? It goes into pierce. So, um, you know, you know, uh, um, you know, judgment is definitely going to start with our people. Like it tells you in 1 Peter 4 verse 17, judgment must first begin at the house of Israel. You know, those that know they are Israelites. But, you know, they're playing around with this truth. They're breaking down the scriptures incorrectly. And, they, and ultimately, they think it's a game. You know, it, it's all funny games and shit, you know. You know, ha, 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 you know. Well, 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 well what if the scriptures say it is? Well, 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 hey, what if the Heavenly Father put you to death for, for, for playing with his word? And you get what I'm saying? So, um, you know, we're living in some serious, harsh, draconian times, which calls for, uh, you know, serious measures because the, these Edomites, they're not playing around. They're dead ass serious when they say that they're, you know, hell bent on, you know, getting rid of you because really the so-called elites they really want to kill us off and one way they can achieve that is by pretending like they're going to deport the israelites but secretly they could be sending them off to concentration camps to kill them off and for the ones that do comply with the new world order they will take the chip which also will fulfill the book of uh daniel the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter. Well, no, that would be the fulfillment of uh, Second Esdras, the 16th chapter. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a mockery and a reproach and a shame. You know, because there's going to be a lot of Israelites that's going to take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the B-E-A-S-T. Okay, including those that are Israelites, which is why it's very important that we must all remain humble and pray to, which the word pray means to make supplication, and the word, to, the word supplication means to beg. You know, we must, we must all beg to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahawashai, for mercy and for deliverance from that RFID chip, which is the MOTB. <laughs> okay. You know, we must pray and beg to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai for deliverance from the R from the RFID chip, which is the mark of the you know what. You know, so, you know, there's going to be a lot of Israelites that's going to be presented with the micro C hip. Okay, there's a lot of Israelites 
that are going to be presented with the micro C hip inside those concentration camps. And we also know that Donald Trump had made some statements, you know, saying that, uh, you know, um, you know, he's been setting up internment camps. And we know that um, inside of these internment camps are guillotines, okay? And for those who reject the, the mark of the B-E-A-S-T, which is the C-H-I-P, their heads are going to be chopped off in the guillotine, okay? So these, uh, you know, beware of these mass deportations, you know, because again, they could all just be, you know, a, a, a smoke screen. You know, there could be a alternative motive behind the, these whole deportations. You know, so we just all got to be careful and beware that, you know. You know. And of course, you know, some of the Lord's elect men might get, get caught up in these deportations, which will probably lead them into concentration camps as well. Because, you know, we also have a lot of brothers in this truth, you know, that are a part of the, um, the uh, Latino tribes that are of the elect, you know? They are a part of the Latino tribes which are of the elect. Okay, so some of the Latino brothers might get caught up in this deportation, which could lead them into concentration camps. I mean, you know, Yahweh, why Yahweh should forbid that happens. But if it does, you know, what did the Lord say in Revelation 2 verse 10? Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life, you know. And at the end of the day, none of us is exempt from being put into a concentration camp, you know. Because they're going to perse there's going to heavy persecutions are going to come down upon the southern tribes too, which will be uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay, so heavy persecutions is going to come down upon upon us southern tribes too, man. You know, me personally, I'm of the tribe of Judah. Judah's the head tribe, you know. So you know, Judah Judah is probably going to catch the most hell. Uh, of all the other tribes just for the simple fact that you know Judah is the head tribe which you know Judah Yahawadah you know Yahawadah the tribe of Judah is the head tribe you know so you know and at the end of the day man's goings are of the Lord how can a man then understand his own way So, you know, that time is coming, you know, and it could all begin starting next year, you know. And let me remind you that Trump said that he was going to use the military, okay? Trump said he was going to use the military to execute these uh, mass deportations. And the first scripture that came to my mind is um, 2nd Ezra 16, verse 70 on down, where it says, And there shall be a great insurrection upon all those that fear the Lord. Okay? And who predominantly fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahawashai? The Israelites do, which will be the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians. Shaking my fucking head. Cinnabons with, with Satan. 
But anyways, you know. <laughs> oh, look at that. Ain't no fire truck gonna put out the fire in Babylon. Oh yeah, look at that. They got bees up there too. And when you look up that word insurrection, it means an uprising, okay? An uprising. And that uprising, the main ones who's gonna do that uprising is gonna be the military, which ultimately it's gonna be, you know, The, the UN troops, the sleeper cells, which they have here in the United States of America, you know, I mean, while Trump is talking about a mass deportation, you know, <laughs> you know, it, it kind of makes you wonder if, if they're going to deport the, um, if they're also going to execute a mass deportation upon the, uh, the sleeper cells over here too. When I say the sleeper cells, I'm talking about the, the immigrants that, um, that the U.S. snuck over here, the immigrants that came over here as uh, Arabs, Africans, Chinese and Japanese people, okay? You know, the, uh, the sleeper cells, okay? You know, those are the sleeper cells that when the time is activated, you know, they're gonna put on their military uniform and they're gonna do as they're commanded, okay? They're gonna do exactly as they're commanded. See, in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna have real jewelry. Not all this fake shit. They sell these for really high prices, but only 10% of it is real. You feel me? So yeah, those sleeper cells are gonna be activated over here, you know. They're immigrants, right? Shouldn't they get deported too? But I mean, you know, I mean, it, it comes as, as no surprise really, because we all know the Edomites are, are the biggest hypocrites on this planet, you know. I mean, hypocrisy led to the so-called North American Indians losing this country, right? So, um, yeah, it don't really come as no surprise. So, you know, there shall be a great insurrection upon all those that fear the Lord, right? For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. You know, and that's what's written in the Holy Scriptures. You know, the scriptures say, you know, these things will happen. You know, and, and, and who's going to be getting cast out of their houses? The Israelites are, which are the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians, okay? So, you know, you might watch the news one day, and, um, yeah, you know, you might see um, Israelites getting cast out of their houses over YouTube and different social media platforms. 
you know, by, um, by, by UN troops because the great persecution is coming. And according to Revelation, the 12th chapter, right? Therefore, uh, uh, Revelation 12 verse 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And so these devils are come down are, are they're going to come down upon you Israelites out there, you different tribes having good having great wrath because you know if they have but a short time. Okay. And, and one way he's going to come down with great wrath is going to be through that military. I mean, we heard it from Trump's mouth. Okay. You know, we heard it from Trump's mouth. <laughs> he said he's gonna use the military to execute these mass deportations. And he was dead ass serious about it. So, you know, as for you Northern tribes out there, you wanna keep worshiping idols, you wanna keep, you know, being disobedient to the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahawashai. Well, get ready to meet the theory of the Lord, man. Because he's going to use his left hand side, which are the Edomites, the self proclaimed white man, to execute his fierce anger. Because, like it tells you in, um, is that, um, Isaiah 9, verse 16? For this, the Lord's anger is not yet turned away, but his hand is, is stretched out still. Ultimately, the hand of the Lord is Yahawashai. Okay? You know, ultimately, Yahawashai is the judge. Okay? Yahawashai is the judge. So, you know, the great persecution is coming. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall it be known who are my chosen, you know, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. I hate that color. I can't stand the color pink. I will never put pink on my body. I don't care if it's shoes, socks, pants, shirts. If anything on my apparel has pink, I will not put it on. I hate the color pink. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. What's up with a Victoria's Secret? There's got to be something in it that they're not telling people, right? You know? Polo, Ralph Lauren, Vans, you know, so kind of places in his mall. Brooks Brothers. No. No. You got the Nimrod tree right there. Two of them to be exact. You know, you think it's a coincidence that the, uh, the carpet and the couch is red? Hmm. There's three Nimrod trees over there. Three Nimrod trees decked out with testicles and Christmas lights. And um, yeah, clearly uh, idol worship. But um, you know. Brooks Brothers. Okay. So that persecution is coming. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall it be known 
who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Okay? So, there may be some of the Lord's elect that might be persecuted during these times. Okay? So, you know, some of the Lord's elect men are going to be persecuted. You know, all that in there is poison. Look at that. It's sugar. Yeah. Well, stay away from white sugar. Okay. That shit is dangerous. Exactly what they want. Give them candy, right? Give them candy right out your teeth, right? But um, you know, then it shall be known who are my chosen, right? Because I believe that during these deportations, some of the Lord's elect men are gonna get caught up in it. Okay. Some of the Lord's elect men are gonna get caught up in it. And they're gonna be taken to concentration camps which will be, you know, really the trying of your faith. You know, hear ye, O my beloved, be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is your guide and the guide of them that keep his commandments. Now, we're not going to be saved on keeping the commandments. Okay? We're not going to be saved on keeping the commandments. You know, we're rehearsing the righteous acts as it is written in Judges chapter 5, verse 11. Okay? You know, so like it says in 2nd Esdras, the ninth chapter, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his faith, by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. What's the part of those works? The keeping of the Lord's law, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. All that is a part of your works. Okay, keeping the Lord's law, statutes and commandments, which you can keep to the best of your ability. You know, doing what the Lord said to do. All that is a part of your works. Being brotherly, helping out brothers. We you know whatever way you can. Communing with brothers. You know, edifying the Lord's sheep. You know, you're uploading edifying videos, going out on the highways and hedges, you're teaching. You know, you're always putting the Lord first before anything else. Okay. All that is a part of your works, which is which all comes from what? Having faith. You probably can't see it, but it says Timberland up there. You know. You know, all your works comes from having faith. <laughs> through <laughs> this whole country is through 2.0 oh yeah I 
think. No, it ain't going. So, uh, you know, yeah, this, 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 this country is through. So, you know, during that time, the Lord's elect is going to be tried, you know. And of course, you know, Esau, Edom, he's not going to get all of the Lord's elect men. You know, he's not going to get all of the Lord's elect men. Some of the Lord's elect men, according to Isaiah 59 verse 19, is going to receive spiritual power to, you know, escape the wrath of these devils. Lord's going to give some of his elect men spiritual power to escape these devils, you know? So he's not going to get all of the Lord's elect men. Just because Esau sends the military after you to, to, to persecute you does not mean that you're necessarily going to be in a concentration camp. You might just be one of those brothers that the Lord gives spiritual power to, to defend yourself and your family and to, and to escape. You know, because what do you, how should I say? When, 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 when you see the uh i believe that's in matthew the 24th chapter when when, when you see of uh, the abomination that make it desolate then let they which are in judea flee to the mountains so it, it's going to happen all over again you know during during the uh, persecution of titus under the orders of of vespasian uh, of vespasian okay during dur during the or during the uh the persecution of Titus under the orders of uh, Vespasian. You know, a lot of Israelites during, died during that time, but some of them escaped and managed to flee down into, you know, Africa, where we, you know, mostly migrated to the western parts of Africa, okay? So, So, you know, just because Esau sends, uh, you know, his military after the Israelites to persecute them, it, don't, it doesn't mean that he's going to get every single Israelite. Some of the Lord's elect men are going to receive spiritual power in these last days. For when the enemy shall come in like a flood, then the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. And that standard goes into, uh, that standard goes into the Lord's elect men that's going to receive spiritual power. You know, okay. When you look up that word "standard," it goes back to uh, the Hebrew word, the Hebrew word "nawas," which means you know to flee, to take flight, to disappear. Okay. So the Lord is going to do that. He's going to give particular of his elect men spiritual power to defend themselves and their family. And to, and to escape out of the clutches of, of Esau, Edom, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, check out this place. Exotic Snack Factory. Word of advice, 
never ever go into that place to buy candy okay i went there one time i bought a i bought a a um a small bag of chips right and a skinny bottle of of cherry juice and don't did you know that those two items came up to 14 dollars i looked at this nigga like really 14 dollars for these two items and the bag of chips i ate with was not even all that good so yeah stay away from exotic snacks that place is trash okay ishmael will literally overcharge you for you know for for, for a small thing of candy I'm talking about 5.99 for for a small thing of candy you know hey fuck you ishmael that's why we, hey when your ass go into slavery we're gonna beat the fuck out your ass we're gonna knock your teeth down your fucking throat and make you shit out your own tooth I, mean, I, I I hope I'm of the elect, but um, you know, anyways, hey, when the elect get that spiritual power, there ain't shit you heathens will. Uh, hey, when the elect get get spiritual power, there ain't shit you heathens will. will there ain't shit you heathens will be able to do about it. For the the heathens shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing. Okay, they shall be able to do nothing. Okay, the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing. Oh, look at that. Let's see, what is that? Sam's Knight. Okay, so. You know, the time of persecution is at hand, you know. The Lord said, be not afraid, neither doubt. For he is a guide and the God of them that keep his commandments. Now and again, we're not going to be saved on keeping the, the law, statutes and commandments. But we keep the law, statutes and commandments, which we can keep to the best of our ability to show the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, that we have faith in him. Okay. But, um, you know, I don't want this lesson to drag on too long. I pray and hope that you, uh, sincere brothers of the elect, as well as you few sisters have been edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shom, Yahweh Shai. Through, look, he threw. What, what is he wearing? Anyways, with that, I'm gonna say, Shalom is on to the next one. <laughs>